Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers and the likes with a passion and we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you, the criminal supporters, enablers, financiers and all the likes to go to prison or madness. Let's me repeat myself. We are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We do not want the criminal supporters and their circle over here. We want you to go to prison or modern. Moving on to our video. Yes, if you know any police officer who can, you know, point to yours truly and say that I am bad mind or you know or hate or hate police officer because they're successful. You know, you can bring them forward. Got one thing with me, I don't have bad mind in me. Yeah, so we just have a touch on a thing called legacy. You know, legacy refers to the lasting impact or influence a person leaves behind after they are gone. Particularly regarding their contributions, achievements, values, or other or others remember them. It is enduring mark or effect someone has on their community organization or society a legacy can be positive or negative often reflecting the individual's principles actions and character over time so when i ask my critics who have served in the police force show me your legacy in the jamaica constabulary force I am asking you to demonstrate your meaningful, lasting contribution to the force and the society that we serve. What have you done that will be remembered, respected or valued long after you are gone? Tell me. No. <laughs> you know, you have some guys, um, you know, some police, um, we have some loyal viewers and subscribers. And sometimes, when I hear with some videos, it's because people in the Patreon, um, we have ex-police in our Patreon um, too, yeah, ex-police will support, support the Jamaica Young Police channel. Yes, and um, even in Canada, England, and the likes, and America, and they support the Jamaica Young Police channel. Some screenshot and send things to us and all kind of thing. Honestly, it's not every channel. It's not every channel on YouTube we really watch. You understand? We watch channel that is all about. We can't tell you like um, the channels them that we watch. You know, we watch um, Papa's News Link. We watch Politics Watch. Sometimes we watch On the Spot and bugger things. Watch Evan Blake and Porsche. Because, you know, um, we have always been promoting this channel. Um, uh, you know, young police say, yes, truly. You understand? So, as Christopher Porter, I have experienced many reactions from the detectives and uniform officers I have served with. So, there's a, um, so, you know, some police were served with one police were named Winston Henry, a detective. He used to be at Unspear. No, he used to do it in um, Patrick City. Them guy there, you know, them guy there, you know, them guy that came clean all the dirt off of my shoes. And then them say some others. And, but 
it was um, particular um, this one and they said that he have been saying some things about me and you know uh, trying these guys came clean the dirt off of my shoes but we know that some of them have harbor resentment towards me possibly due to my confidence assertiveness our reputation for being exceptionally effective in my role as a detective they have whispered behind my back label me as cocky a schwaf or someone who believe that they are superior to others I understand that such perceptions can arise when one's success and determination stands out but they are far from the complete picture of who I am one of the things that I have always echoed is that I eat teeth in police with a passion yeah when I say teeth I mean like teeth in police no guy can say all of my years of me serving that same I am a thief. Period. The only thing where people mostly accuse me of um, you know, they want to say that I have committed extrajudicial killing and I have never done any of the same. None. Every shooting that I have been involved in is justifiable. If you listen to Hugly some you hear much murder and say that I have committed. That's not true. You say me you hear me bring on all man same serve with me and me kill all people in them sleep not true then you are not another man to show you the reputation that i had serving in st andrew south even when i was in the united states of america a man make a video and said that i kill a, a soldier in a sea view that's how much people hate me and so, so that's how some put me and i i don't know what to say about that as if I was the only police or the only detective that was at St. Andrew South. I haven't seen no, you know, blogger call out other police and say them this or that or any police we even on YouTube accuse them of anything that they have accused yours truly of. And when they try to accuse me of how many, how many um, people that I have sent to the departure lounge and that could not work and, you know, for people to hate me. Then they went down and they try one of the lowest of the lower. They even say, they mention all kind of thing. They even bring all a thief in police officer named Clifford Coleman, Duppy police. Police um, charged, charged with murder um, two times. One time he was charged, yeah. And his murders, and I like him kill somebody. Or him do him shoot the cops. So I don't know, and end up charged with murder. Just like the police, them out of Kingston East. With the charge of the criminal or named Barnes. Barnes was a terrorist out by um, Bull Bear, rapist and all kind of thing. And police signed him dead and shoot up the dead body. And all of them, about, if I'm not, my memory serves me well, I think about seven to nine police charged to murder one dead man. The man is dead already. And all of them go there and shoot up the dead man. Dummies. Yes, uh, Clifford Coleman, um, Duppy Police, he's one of those police officers that, you know, do these things. But we're not bragging our boasts about uh, because as we said and we continue to say only a fool boasts about these things and because I any idea you have to understand a life is a life even when you are protect yours but that's how it is you know back then we never have any um, counsellor or no chaplain or this or that and a guy can't stand out to my record my legacy you understand Yes. Not simple because, you know, so despite the criticism, many of my colleagues respect me. Not simple because I am Christopher Porter, but because they recognize the values I embody and the dedication I bring to my job daily. They know I am brave, unafraid, and fearless in the face of danger. My incorruptibility is not just a personal standard, but a professional commitment to uphold the integrity of the badge. I am, I am hardworking, driven by a deep sense of duty and patriotism. And I will never compromise my principle for personal gains. Never have, never will. If I want the same, James Sire's cousin, Bitty, um, when he was arrested on suspicion for killing Ope, we know that it was Bitty that killed Ope. And guess what? Yeah, even, you know, the same cowboy that some of them are priests, yeah. Cowboy came to me and, you know, I'm going to say it. So if you write a statement 
and, and charge Bitty because we can make some money off him because people can talk him. I tell him, say, no, I don't do that. I say, I don't tell him, I don't tell him like them thing there. I say, we can eat, we can make some money. I say, we? No, I say, I don't eat. So that's why I have enemies. Because he wants me to, he wants me to write, um, write a statement, I'm a charge, bitty for murder. So that's, he can make money. And I say, no. Simple as that. And these are the people that these people, all of them people were criticized me, I had them money, them money I look up to. But me, you know, and them say me an informer. So I mean, I all you say me a biggest and the baddest informer. So these qualities have earned me the trust and respect of those who matters most. The officers who understand that when the stakes are high, bullets are flying and lives are on the line, they can count on me. They know my presence isn't just welcoming the heat of a shootout, it's reassuring. They are confident that I will stand shoulder to shoulder with them, facing whatever threat comes our way. Courageous and determined to serve justice. Ultimately, the respect I have earned from those who truly know me is not based on superficial traits or misconceptions, but on my unwavering commitment to protect and serve, no matter the personal cost. So fast forward to August 2024. Yes, I released a video expressing my deep concern over the decision by the Jamaican government to grant state funerals to two notorious members of the PMP criminal organization. I'm going to use them alias Papa and Termite. These individuals were killers, not heroes, and honoring them in such a manner sends a dangerous and disheartening message to the public and their family and the family of the victims. I spoke out because I believe in justice, truth and the importance of upholding the value and should define our society. I wasn't the only person that did it. Another vlogger have done the same. But based on what, you know, subscribe, um, the other vlogger did not get attacked. I was the one that was attacked. Because guess what? They said that I'm a labor right. So they said the other blogger now. They are saying that the other blogger now. Sir P, a politics what? Say my labor right now. So welcome to the club. However, it seems that my words have struck a nerve, particularly among members of the police force who are aligned to the PNP criminal organization. Some officers, including one I once worked at Unsbeer briefly, Winston Henry, healing from March Penn Road, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. I've taken my statements personally. He and others, they have lashed out, making all sorts of unfounded accusations against me. What's particularly disheartening is that many of these critics has never even worked with me or seen my dedication and professionalism firsthand. Even some guy, you know, try, look, you know, when CVU Garden Police Station woman, the reason why they sent me down here is because they know the effectiveness of yours truly. And them know the criminal, them don't know me. I don't have to toot my own hand. The reason why I don't have to toot my hand because my record speaks for itself. Why do you think them tell so many lies on me about fatal shootings, uh, sending people to the departure lounge? Because they know <laughs> my reputation on the street. Most of the criminals that I've encountered, they, they rather shoot it out than for, allow me to hold them with the gun. So, based on that, I never get to take a brown paper bag, a brown paper envelope to the gun court. Because these criminals were heartless and ruthless. They wanted to kill me. And none of these police officers who are there criticizing me can't match up to my record. It speaks for itself, my legacy. So instead, they cling to shallow stereotypes, reducing me to nothing more than someone who comes from a so-called criminal community. Yeah, boy, I come from Jonestown, all jungle, so, uh, this, that, that. Well, let's be clear. Where I come from does not define who I am. What defines me, Christopher Porter, is my character, my reputation, my integrity, my actions, and my unwavering commitment to justice. 
dis dismissing my words because of my background is insulting and misses the point entirely. I speak out not because it's easy, but because it's necessary. Someone needs to hold a mirror up to the truth. And if that makes certain people uncomfortable, so be it. I never care about who wants to like me or who not like me. Me know that long time. Those who know my work know I have always stood for integrity and righteousness. My track record speaks for itself. I have never shied away from doing what's right, even when it's unpopular. I put me at odds with powerful interest. The fact that some officers choose to attack my character instead of addressing the real issues. I have raised only proof how deeply entrenched the corruption and misguided loyalties are within certain factions of the police force. Because if a guy is a, if a guy go attack me about my legacy and him not have none, none of them not have none. We not talk about nothing superficial, we talk about what you can say. Show me yours. That's mine, right there. So my, my message is simple. We must not allow the lines between right and wrong to be buried. We cannot afford to glorify those who have caused harm to our communities, no matter their affiliations. And we should not allow anyone, regardless of rank or position, to intimidate or silence those who dare to speak the truth. So to those who criticize me without understanding the whole picture, I ask you, what does it say about how a society, if we let fear and loyalty to criminal elements dictate our actions? And to those who stand with me, who believe in justice and accountability, I say, let's continue to fight for what's right, no matter the opposition. The bicycles that the police officers now ride across the island of Jamaica are not just random equipment. They are the brainchild of myself, Bobby Reds. Myself and Bobby Reds. Later, Carl Nelson and the late Kirk Palmer become a part of the team. Because two of us, as Bobby, yes, we were very effective. And with the others, we get even more effective. Dismantle many gangs in St. Andrew South. So when some guy come trap about them, them legacy and I write about legacy and this and that. You just have to drive a tooth your own hand because none of you can't clean the dirt off of my shoes. And none of you never run down a gunman for over a mile in a swamp or river town city and make certain say justice serve. I end up having to keep it and I'm have to wash it off with power holes. And you understand? And your colleague have to bring pants, buy new pants come here. You never run, you never do them thing there. Man shoot your colleague and if you run them down over a mile in a swamp. Send back the police send the police will get shot on the other and say, go on, and we will go get them. You can't compare yourself with me. This initiative born from our collective vision and dedication has revolutionized how officers patrol and protect our communities. Bobby and I were at the forefront of this idea, bringing it to life with our innovation and commitment. Now I challenge you to show me your contribution, if you have any. Since a guy wants to disrespect, I look at idiot guy wants to disrespect, oh boy, um, I talk about um, legacy. So, um, big, uh, you know, yeah, so, uh, you know, because I remember the time this guy did even come out and be them taking from Patrick Garden, you know. Them guys, they are baby, them guys, they can't walk in my shoes. None of them. Me have a legacy right now, and that's it. Show me yours. All I want to wear a brag about, and I have like, oh, but, oh, him not, him not idiot, him not, show me yours. None of you even begin to compare to what I have achieved. Let me ask you this, how many of you can claim to have single-handedly recovered three guns in one afternoon and sent three criminals to the departure lounge, only to have other officers try, try to take credit for it? How much I want 
I come talk. I just a go with that. How much I want to do that? How much I want to recover three guns in a one day and send three boys to the departure and other police are claim it here for them? The truth is control as those records. If they have preserved, my actions speak for themselves and my impact is undeniable. I never do that with nobody. <laughs> some of the wrong guy come talk, say. I'm just some little idiot, some little goons. We don't disrespect people. We don't show off. All of them say we show off. We don't show off, we show off. If we don't have a reason to talk to you, we don't talk to you. Now if we know say you're a thief in police, or we know say you're a coward, we're not a friend for you. We don't have a friend with you. You're an asset, you're a liability. My legacy is alive and well in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. It's woven into the force fabric through initiative. I have pioneered and deliver pioneer and the results I have delivered. So I ask you, Winston Henry, and the rest, where are your legacies? What have you done that will stand the test of time? You are all mere rookies compared to me in every sense. Experience, impact and vision. So while you struggle to find your place, my influence shaped the JCF. I am not just another name. I am a force to be reckoned with and my contribution will outlast us all. I left the police force almost two decades and my legacy is still there. Show me any of yours. The others will leave the police force, all them leave a writing and them think their mind is right there. You see it in the superficial dummies. So moving on. I was going to let you, you know, I, it, hey, this is just a part of life for me. You understand? So, that's how it is. Get to. And I know Willie Agard from here, you. I mean, you never see me around Willie Agard yet. And him have money. And you see, holy papa, police try to look friend from him, because he have money. But I never do that. Because I have a thing on him character, and integrity, and a reputation for protect. But some police, I'm just licky licky. Me, I have never left from Kingston and go pick up no no drug dealer down in a St. James. Flipper Mafia can't say him no me. So we don't know how some how you know some guy I come beat uh, you know no guy can compare them 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 legacy to me. No guy. Me not brag or boast about nothing. So you know in time some um some some of our subscribers and Patreon members share things with me. Yeah, it's not really surprising, you understand what I'm saying? But it's just, that's how life is. I have never been jealous of anyone. I don't grudge no man for nothing with them having in them life. Never have and never will. I used to be as a cancer being in charge of five other people on a team. And not a single person that worked with me was arrested and charged for any form of corruption are charged with anything, assault or anything. Cause I would work by the book. One of the known is a detective inspector. I'm proud of him. I love him. Ruben Gunter. I don't care them all fight him. And I said, boy, Gunter, a PMP police, and him a PMP, and him a labor. Right? I can't tell a man this. I have never, we in a vehicle all it for years. I can't tell if Gunter a labor right or a PMP. Believe you me. Reason being, one, <laughs> yeah, may I tell you? Well, the only thing I can say that I know that Ruben, yeah, yeah, when um when I compare the leaders them, when we were in the police force back then and compared to then, input Edward Siago above all of them, because he said did love we as police. So if I that make you say my labor right, uh, and I would have more think the other way, say Gunter and more PMP than labor right. May I tell you that? I'll, in, in, I'll do him a say it. But yet still, the man they fear. And the man they are straight police. The man they are not thief. Gunter not mix up with thief and them things. Nobody can buy Gunter. Just like the boy don't have CV when he's war bus. How you make war bus enough to run away? And then some police and war bus become friends. We are war bus never become friends. Never. When we see war bus, I want to be in a 2005. And Warbus tell me, say, say, you must say, you must say, him boy. And we, I said to him, Oh, you can't say me, hey boy. And a Mr. Porter, him call me. That's the kind of person I am. 
I'm not mix up with carousing. Period. Money, you can't use money and buy me. I, mean, I, am not, I will never deny anyone that I grew up with. People, you talk about Oni and Carlos all the while. Talk about, yeah, you even talk about um, Roy Fowl. I mean, know them. Talk about George Pang. I know them. General Starkey, I know them. I get to my barn and grow. Blinky Roy, I know him. <laughs> you understand? Yes, all of these people. Turn a ball, yes. And I can't, I can't go on and on and on. I say all the while, only two of us from my age group. Two of us that is still alive. Two. So I am not doing this for myself to make no money. I'm not compete with no guy. I know one day I must die. You understand? So, I don't care where a guy wants to say. And I don't care if a guy wants to say, boy, I'm a serpy, a labor right. But yet, still, they might see him and they didn't pray Sir Peter. So, all of a sudden, Sir Peter is a labor right because he wants a leg, he wants better men for Jamaica. Too. So, I saw no steel, no love when people lie to him. But we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we all here tell the truth. I care zero who want like me for who want like me. As I said before, and I'll say again, I know it feels as an innocent man to be accused of doing things that you haven't done. Police tell life on me twice. At one point I couldn't leave Jamaica for two years. So part four. End of part four of this five parts here, you know, Queen Africa. The reason why we you know we moving at that tangent and you know, is just because of some things that people sent us. But look here, we can tell you this. We now run the calls, you know. So if people if people have a sound like we or you know them write or talk like we and the reason why we have said that now um yeah the, you know there's a there's a policeman uh, a, a policeman that we used to be called men baby you know um we don't call him name we just uh, call him we just uh, say for him first name mike so we used to write for him write and him have a thing i go on for years and he's the same one that says that uh, we had written an article for him. And he said, boy, the biggest thing that uh, he wants to send money to it because he must say amount of money we make from the art article. And we said, no, we never write it. We never write it for making the money. We write because we want but we country. That's before we have a YouTube channel. And then now we have another brother now. I'll, we tell you about him already. A brother named Esther Nelson. Uh, Esther Nelson and him, two of them all years are bumped. Uh, Mike Beckel is a labor right, Esther Nelson a PMP. I don't care about that. Me and Nelson are, me and Nelson are friends. We, as you hear me say, we're friends. Yeah, man, and he come out and say after that, say, boy, I'm for dead. See, man, and he come on my yard and stay on my yard at West Palm Beach. After that, he said, me for dead. For years, you know, I have this man as a friend. That's why I tell you, I have a friend and them thing. And he said, boy, I have a friend, Mike Beckles. So my Mike Beck, uh, my man, the guy, them back and forth. Sure, you say, you know, that's why I'm telling you, I'm trust people, you know. And the thing was that now, he must um, say, so Mike Beckles done. So I must say, boy, uh, most of the things them that have been written in other man, um, in a website, that I am the one that writing, because I can't write, and him done, and this and that, which was an insult to the man. Mike Becker's writing and my writing may be similar, but not because the man writing your fees say because I might be everything when I'm everything when I'm right, you're gonna say I me write it. I didn't write it and that's how people are. So they must expect say you have millions of people in this world and if I sound a certain way and somebody else sound a certain way, that person is me. That's how stupid that's how stupid our people are. And you hear, yeah, if you listen, you hear them say Jamaica have the lowest IQ in the Caribbean. Jamaicans. So, just use that. Yeah. yeah, so if a guy understand what legacy mean, you know, that's my legacy right there, on the right. So, baby cops. Yeah, man, that's my legacy. So, baby cops, show me your legacies. Show me yours. We don't talk about superficial thing. We don't talk about actual thing. That's our thing. Why you think say it become island wide? Because we 
make it effective. We use it on the race. Criminals some off of the street of Jamaica. In a unspeed police area. In a St. Andrew South, we ride bicycle to uh, Patrick City, Brook Valley. And at them bicycle, I ask police where you used to work a patrol and all these places. Anytime they hear unspeed four, every man wants to know where we were. Where's your legacy? Show we yours. This is ours. Don't compare yourself to us, man. Respect. You must have respect for your elders and people who set the pace. Look at Ori come up guy. I look at um, Bose police. Look at idiot police where warm decks. Can't compare to your story. So this is my way of telling Uncle Sam thanks for saving Jamaica from the clutches of Cuba and Russia. Yeah, man. So I don't think they were, on, uh, yeah, cause, yeah, me a labor right, cause, because I'm going to stop big up Edward Siaga for save Jamaica. And me, me when, hey, look here, when me a youth, Isaiah Ling and them, and they run the place. Edward Siaga never chastised the police, and never tried to send them to prison. That's why I love Edward Siaga. So in time he tell you said the PMP is a criminal organization, I know what I am talking because I am from born and raised in a Jones Town and Concrete Jungle. Where do I come from? I want to know I'm most of our country people. Spanish town was country when I go. You understand? Even in the nineties, Spanish town are Renita Adams and Harry Bongos and the PMP they mash up Spanish town and turn it in what it is now. A guy can't talk to me. Can't clean the dirt off of my shoes. Respect, man. You must. You understand. So we are giving another another thing. I wanna I wanna want the people. I'm mean, a patron. You know, if you follow follow people and depend on other people channel and we don't want you, you, you understand what I'm saying. So we just uh, give them some little context about your background. Cause they don't know much about you, you know. So back in 1996, I had the distinct honor of being one of the three finalists for the prestigious title of Top Cup of Jamaica alongside Donovan Ox, one of the O'Connor and Ruben Gunter. We are talking about island wide you know. Ruben Gunter who ultimately won. I was recognized for my exceptional contributions to law enforcement. This title wasn't just about rank or seniority. It was about real tangible results. Top Cup mean being the kind of police officer who will recover multiple firearms, fearlessly send countless killers to the departure alone, in ensuring our streets were safer for everyone. So I ask you, Mr. Baby Cops, have any of you ever been nominated for Top Cop of Jamaica? Have any of you proven yourself in such a way that your name could stand alongside the likes of Ox and Gunter? Or myself. Being a top cop wasn't just a title. It was an acknowledgement of blood, sweat and sacrifice that came with truly make kind of difference. If you haven't, then what does that say about your contributions compared to mine? While you were going through the motions, I was out there making undeniable impact an impact so significant that he put me in the running for the highest honor any police officer in Jamaica could aspire to then. That's the legacy I have built. What's yours? What's yours? Baby cops, what's yours? All of you guys talking all kind of crap about me. So in conclusion, Chris Porter legacy is one that continues to stand out to this day. Marked by his unwavering commitment to justice, fearless dedication to his duties, and innovative contributions to the Jamaica Constabulary Force. His bold actions, such as recovering weapons and apprehending criminals under the most challenging circumstances, have set a standard that a few can match. The initiative, E Pioneer, like the introduction of bicycles for our police patrols demonstrated forward thinking approach and deep understanding of what it takes to protect and serve the community effectively show me yours 
baby police officers show me yours Porter's legacy is not just about their accolades or the recognition it's about lasting impact he has made on the force and the communities he serve his influence is felt in the way officers patrol the streets in the courage they muster during critical moments and in the principle of integrity and bravery that he exemplified throughout his career. Chris Porter's name will forever synonymous with excellence, courage, decency, ethics and an unyielding commitment to the betterment of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Jamaican people. His legacy lives on inspiring future generations to uphold the values he held dear and strive for the same level of dedication and effectiveness that define his remarkable career. So I say again to you baby police officers who are trying to put yourself along with yours truly, where is your legacy? Where is your legacy? Show me your legacy. The bicycle island wide is Chris Porter's legacy. Show me yours. Where's yours? Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.